Hey everyone, welcome back to Liz Fenwick DIY. So today's video, I am gonna show you how to make a bow. And these bows you can use year round, but they're especially great for Christmas. And I'm definitely in the Christmas spirit. I'm wearing my favorite shirt. It's my, um, this is my Hallmark Christmas movie watching shirt. I love this little shirt. Um, I'll link it in the description box if you want to check it out. So let's get into making a bow. Now, why do you need to know how to make a bow? Well, one, it's so much cheaper to make it yourself. And two, yes, you can buy them at the store, but what if you have a specific ribbon that you wanna use? I think it's really a good idea to know how to make a bow. And they're pretty simple. You just need to practice a little bit. So what you need for this is ribbon. And I like to use ribbon that's at least 2.5 inches wide. Um, you can definitely make smaller bows, but that's about what I like to use. And you can either go with one color ribbon or you could do two and you know put them together. And that's what I'm gonna do today. So this ribbon is a Buffalo check ribbon. This is from Walmart. This ribbon is nine feet and it's from Dollar General and it was only $2. I recommend not going any shorter than nine feet because you really need a good amount of ribbon. This one from Walmart had 25 feet and it was right under $5 but you can get ribbon anywhere. The other important part is you need to get ribbon that has wire on it. If it doesn't have wire, it's not going to give you nice pretty loops and it's not gonna hold up. So make sure your ribbon has wire. And then the other thing that I like to use are, these are like zip ties or cable ties. You can buy these. I got this pack at Dollar Tree, so super inexpensive. Okay, so let's get into making our bow. Now, bows are great. I like to make them for my Christmas tree. You can also make them for your stairs, mantles, so many things. Okay, now I'm gonna pull out my ribbon. First thing you wanna do is figure out how long you want your bow to be. So what I'm gonna do is I just kinda eyeball it and I'll eyeball it and then I'll show you how big I'm gonna make it. So just put the two pieces of ribbon on top of each other and I just folded it over and made a little crease, just like that. Now you don't have to be precise with your measurements. Now the longer you make it, clearly the bigger your bow is gonna be. So for me, my bow is gonna be, each of my loops are gonna be about that long because you always fold it in half. Okay, so now that I get it over once, I'm just going to move my ribbon out and fold it over again. Give it a little crease, it doesn't have to be super creased. And let's see, I will probably do this until my nine foot ribbon is completely, well, I wanna have some for tails, so I won't completely use all of it. So I'm just gonna keep folding it over top. You wanna use quite a bit of ribbon because the more ribbon that you use, the fuller your bow will look. I know a lot of people are intimidated to make these bows and you sh definitely should not be. They're pretty easy, you just need to practice. Okay. So here is the end of my roll. And I'm gonna flip this one back over one more time. And then I will cut this off so that I have a tail. So I'm gonna cut it right here. And so from my nine foot ribbon, this is how much I have left. And then, I'll just loop around the buffalo check one more time. And then I'm gonna go a little bit past the center before I cut it. That way it'll give me a nice loop. Okay. So now that I have all of my ribbon together like this, what you're gonna do next is you're going to fold it in half. So you're gonna fold it in half and give it a good crease. Next, you're going to open it up like that. 
and you're going to cut. So what you wanna do is you want to cut slits on both sides. You wanna leave a little bit of room in the middle, so just cut on both sides. You're not gonna cut all the way through because this ribbon's kinda of hard to cut with, so you need a pretty decent pair of scissors to cut through all the wire and the ribbon. And then I will just go to the other side and cut again. Okay, so this is kind of what it looks like. I could probably cut it a little bit more on this side, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so my slits are cut. Next thing I wanna do is grab one of my cable ties. Okay, so you're gonna take your cable tie and you're gonna wrap it around like this and then you're just going to stick it through the loop. And then what you wanna do is pull it tight until it kind of cinches together and holds in place. And then what you can do is just cut off the extra of the cable tie. If you don't have cable ties, other things that I've used have been floral wire, um, I've also used pipe cleaners, there's just so many different options. Okay, so now that you have your bow secure, now it's time to fluff. So the different part about doing this is I have two different colors of ribbon. So normally, if I had just one color of a ribbon, I would pull one loop up and one loop down. But since I have different colored ribbon, I'm gonna do it a little bit different. So I'm gonna pull two loops up and two loops down, just to kind of evenly disperse my ribbon. So I'm gonna take this first loop, okay? And then this is where your slits come in handy. So you're gonna push it forward like that, okay? Don't really worry about fluffing too much now, we're gonna do that later. So I'm now I'm gonna take that red one and I'm gonna pull it forward on my slits and just kind of let it be. Now I'm gonna take that buffalo check one and I'm gonna pull it down to the bottom. I'll take a red one and pull it down to the bottom. Okay, so I'll repeat those steps. So I'm gonna take my buffalo check, pull it up to the top, take my red, pull it up to the top, and kind of out, just kind of put them everywhere. Then I'm gonna take my buffalo check and pull it down to the bottom. And I have my two loops here. And keep those because you can always tuck those in and make them look like they work. Okay, so this is what it looks like. So now you want to repeat those same steps on the other side. So I'm gonna take my buffalo check, pull it up to the top, take my red, pull it up to the top, Take my buffalo check, pull it down to the bottom. The red is going down to the bottom as well. Okay, and then the buffalo check, I'll pull up to the front. And let's see, red's going up to the top and that buffalo check's kind of staying where it's at. Okay, so this is what your bow looks like at this point. It's not fluffed, it's not super cute or anything. So what I wanna do now is I want to fluff my bow. Okay, so to fluff your bow, I would say what I do is I just kinda grab them and pull them out. They kind of have like a weird crease in them. And you just wanna fluff them out where they're at. Try not to think about it too hard, because I know when I do that, I make it look like a big, I mean, I, I equate it to like a dancer's bun, because that's, um, you know, what I'm used to doing with my girls. So just try to pull them out, because if you make it too precise, it just looks like a symmetrical shape. And you want some that are coming up to the top, and you also want some that are coming down to the bottom. Also pay attention, like right here, 
See how I have those two reds together? I could always switch here, but then I'd have two buffalo checks. So, you know, it, it's, it is what it is. And then make sure, like, I have one at back here that's not doing anything. So I'm gonna pull that one out and fluff it up. You want all of them to be fluffed. So like this one right here, see how that's squished? I'm just gonna fluff it up. And I'm not really worrying about my ends yet. I'm just gonna fluff everything out first and then I will deal with these little end pieces. Because what you can do is these can be tucked so that they look like they're, you know, just another loop and part of your bow. Okay, so here is what my cute little bow looks like. This is a bow that I use 12 inch loop, or I use 12 inch across, and this is what it looks like. Now, if you want to add a little bit of more fancy to it, what you can do is you can put tails on here. So the way I like to do that is just take my extra ribbon, and this is the link that I have left. So I like to do at least two tails. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure out this with the buffalo check ribbon and make a similar piece. So I have my buffalo check ribbon, and I'll just cut that off so it's the same size. All right, so now that I have both, I'm gonna go to the back of my little piece. So I'm gonna fold the ribbon in half. I'm gonna take another one of my zip ties, wrap it around the middle here, and then I'm gonna just go find a loop in the back that I can attach them to. So, and let's wrap them around this loop right here. So I just have, have them right here and I have this, and I'm just going to pull that through and cinch it together, okay? And now they are attached to my bow. Now, I have tails. This is personal preference. Sometimes I make bows and they have tails, sometimes they don't. It just kind of depends on what I'm putting them on. To finish off my ends, I'm just going to cut them at a diagonal on both sides. So next I'm just going to make any adjustments that are needed to this bow. So I think that I need a buffalo check through here. So I'm gonna move this up and around. There we go. And then you can always re-fluff everything, make it look cute. And after you put it on something, you definitely have to re-fluff it as well and then tuck in those end pieces. So that is pretty much all there is to making a bow. Okay, you guys, here is my bow completely done with the tails. I think it's adorable. So this was a 12 inch long ribbon bow. Uh, the red ribbon, remember, was nine feet long, so and I used all of it. So you definitely want to at least get nine feet of ribbon to make this size of bow. But I think it's adorable and I think it's perfect for Christmas. So I hope that you guys got some great tips on how to make a bow. Uh, leave me a comment below and let me know what you do differently whenever you're making your bows. I love learning from you guys. And if you have your own bows that you're making, make sure you post them in our Facebook group at Liz Fenwick DIY group. And you can also follow me on Instagram. I post a lot of behind the scenes stuff at Liz Fenwick DIY. And if you're new, subscribe and I'll leave our last video up here so you can go watch it. And I'll talk to you guys in our next video. Bye.